Hello and welcome to this episode of T Tech. On today's episode, we're going to set up virtual bridges and windows. Now, the reason we're going to do this is for use in VMs and testing your network stack. There's many reasons to do this, but we're implementing it with VMs. So, if you're on another OS, here's the equivalent commands. For Linux, make sure you install your package, um, your distros, bridge utilities, and then there's your command brctl add bridge, and then for the BSDs, likewise. But they, they do the same thing. They're making an interface in your kernel's network stack, and then we can assign IP subnets to that interface. All right, so we're making a virtual network, essentially. All right, so that's what we want to do with this. So now we're going to go ahead and open up Device Manager to get started. Now in Device Manager, do make sure you highlight your hardware. We want to go up to Action. We want to add Legacy Hardware. And then we want to hit next. We want to check advanced. And then under here, we want to scroll until we find network adapters. And we want to select that and then proceed. And then once it retrieves the devices, make sure in the left hand column you click Microsoft. And in the right hand, we want to scroll down until we find Microsoft KM test loopback adapter. Highlight that and then hit next and now we want to hit next again and install that adapter. Now we're going to finish and under network adapters you should be able to see it and here we are it's right there. So now we're going to go to our network settings so where your adapters are and everything and we're going to add IP addressing information. Under network and internet here we're going to go to advanced network settings and that connection we made is going to be identified as an Ethernet connection because you know it's essentially an Ethernet bridge. From here, we want to go click the arrow here. The link speed is 1.2 gigabits per second. That's the bus speed of your computer inside. So that's why that's so high. But we want to view additional properties. And under here is where we'll be able to set IP information. Now, if you are using this in a VM, um, and you have, say, a DHCP server running on that operating system in there, you'll be able to get an IP address over DHCP just fine. But we want to set a static one, so we're just going to turn on IPv4 real quick for this interface, and just set a static address, at least in my case, but you, you have quite a bit of flexibility with this configuration. You can do quite a bit. And if it's going out to the actual internet, depending on your VM settings, you can use public DNS servers, and whatever have you. But that's what we're going to have, and we're going to hit save on this. So now that we have done that, there is another connected route in our routing table. So we have an entire uh, another IP subnet in our network stack that we can utilize for anything we want to, really. So to finish up, we're going to open up VirtualBox and implement this with the bridge interface. All right, so now in VirtualBox, um, and also before we start this part, the reason we're using a, a, a loopback interface like this is because it's a little bit more flexible because it's independent of whatever hypervisor you're using. This can work in VMware Player and VirtualBox and Hyper-V. Um, you know, whatever one you happen to be using. Because a lot of those have built-in bridge interfaces that are doing the same exact function. But um, that's just how I implemented it here. It's a little more flexible. Under our VM here, we're going to go under Settings. And at least by default, under the Network tab, this adapter is attached to the NAT network. And that's another example of that type of interface inside of VirtualBox. We're going to go to Bridged Adapter, though, and then under Name, instead of the wireless card, we're going to choose Microsoft KM Test Loopback Adapter. And from here, if you wanted this not just to go to the VM and stop, you can go to Adapter 2, enable another adapter, bridge that to your physical network card, whatever that is, basically what is connecting to your real network, and then it will go out to the Internet. Um, if you set up your routing and your VM correctly and all that. But that is what we do there to set all of that up. And from there, um, we have access to this VM if we were to turn it on, configure the interface and everything. Um, we have full routing to it. So there you are. 
So that is how we do this and um, how we implement it in VirtualBox. So I do hope you enjoyed this episode and found it useful. And as always, it's been Tyler with T-Tech. Thank you for viewing and have a very nice day.